In my previous video, I showed you how I connected my wireless DeX to my Amazon Fire TV stick using the RAV Power File Hub to make a nice portable solution ideal for travel. I just wanted to thank everybody for such a great response to that video and a massive hello to all my recent subscribers. I have since found out with the help of some Redditors and some comments on the previous video that you don't actually need the RAV Power file hub if you don't want it. So if you did want to go for a setup similar to what I had in my last video, but you didn't want to go for the RAV Power file hub, then you can just replace that with a regular power bank and just go to the Fire TV, turn on the mirroring, and it will be listed as a device in your wireless DeX. So Miracast is actually based on the Wi-Fi Direct standard, which means that it creates its own network directly connecting to the device. So here's a demonstration of how you can connect directly to the Fire TV stick using no Wi-Fi. So as you can see, the Fire TV stick has no network. As you can see, it says network disconnected. and it's connected to nothing. You can see on my phone that we have just 4G. We don't have any Wi-Fi on there either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the home button down and turn on the mirroring. And from my phone, drop down, drop down, go to DEX. Oh, look, it's found it. And if I click start now, Samsung DEX is now working. No network connection on the Fire TV no network connection on my phone and this is just using the cellular data the mobile network on there to provide anything on here if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet then make sure you do because there's a lot of content that i'm going to be releasing soon and my videos are only going to get better and better so make sure you hit subscribe it will help me out a lot as well thank you now there are some additional benefits that you do get with the rav power file hub if you go for that kind of setup. So first thing is that it becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can literally turn one Wi-Fi connection. So let's say if you go to a hotel and you have to sign up on a per device basis, then you literally just sign up for the one login and share it up to, I think, five devices. It's money saver right there. Um, the next thing is, if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, however, you do have an Ethernet connection where normally in these hotels it's free. You can just plug that directly into the file hub as well and share that amongst all your devices. It will allow you to provide the Fire TV stick with its own internet connection. So you can use the Fire TV stick as it's intended to be used with all the apps and everything else that you can do on it. Another massive feature is that you can actually connect SD cards and hard drives to the file hub, which then become external drives to be able to, let's say, do stuff on your phone and access it, or even the Fire TV stick can access these files. Now, one great thing with this is that because they are directly connected to the file hub, it means that you're not limited to the FAT32 formatted hard drives that you'd be able to plug in directly to the Fire TV, which had a four gig limit via an OTG cable. So this completely gets rid of that. You can put NTFS, X fat formatted drives, even I heard Mac OS drives as well. So your phone, your Fire TV can actually access those files. And you know, if you have movies on your hard drive, because you don't want to store them on your phone, you can have your whole collection with you there. And the Fire TV stick can actually play X264 and X265, which is HEVC, -E sorry, um, files. So that you got a great player right there anyway. It will even act as its own little portable power bank. So you don't have to have the file hub and a portable power bank to charge your devices. Just 
take this one item. I guess the headline act for it is that if like me, you want something, no fuss, you know, you just plug in your SD card from all your footage that you've captured on your camera, whether it's photos or videos, plug in a hard drive, hit that one button on the actual router and it will copy without a computer or copy from the SD card to the hard drive. So that makes it great to just take this item with you purely just to back up your footage. Now you can just get a cheap Miracast dongle connected to your television, which will allow you to just connect your Samsung DeX to your television. But the reason why I suggested the Fire TV stick is because there are so many other features, including the ones that I mentioned before when you pair it up with the RAV Power File Hub, but just generally you can install apps, you can play multiple files on there, and it allows you to then use as a Miracast receiver. So let's just say it's about 15, 20 pounds for the Miracast receiver on its own, or about 45 or 50 pounds, and this is full price because Amazon does have sales, so you can get it a lot cheaper than that for the Amazon Fire TV stick. I still think the Fire TV stick is much better value than just having a Miracast dongle that does one thing and one thing only. The Fire TV stick, again, for me this is, works out much better for everything else that it can do, plus the Miracast receiver which allows my wireless decks to go on there. I'm not sponsored by Amazon by any way, it's just that I'm very passionate. I love my technology. Um, I do my thorough research onto things that I want to buy and through all of these videos I want to get that out there so that you guys can understand why I buy certain things, my decision process and if I can help somebody else in that process who's deciding whether to buy something and they watch my video and I've clarified something in their mind, that's great. Once again thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber.